everyone. Today we will be graphing trigonometric functions. This is the second part. Um, there's a video for the first part. If you want to see that video, I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So the trigonometric functions that we have here is in this graphing form. And these are the steps that we need to do. And then um, again, it's in the first part. Let's have this first example right here. So um, the only, um, the reason why I put this as a second part, it's because the first part, it doesn't have an A value. For the second part, it has an A. So let's go over the steps here. So we start with step one. Step one is to determine the amplitude. So amplitude is the absolute value for this, and that is a three. And then we have a, a midline K is five. I put that over here on the first step. In the second step, we are supposed to find the phase shift or the starting point. We can do that by setting this up equal to zero. So that would be 2x minus pi over 4 equals zero. So from here, we are going to add um, pi over 4 from both sides. That's pi over 4. So we can cross out the pi over 4. So we're left with 2x equals positive pi over 4. And then from here, we're going to divide 2, and then we divide this by 2, so the 2 is going to go away. So this becomes x equals pi over 4 over 2. So remember, if we have a complex fraction, there is an invisible denominator of 1 here. So then I go ahead and flip the bottom and multiply across. So that would be pi over 4 times 1 over 2. So then the uh, my starting point for x is, or the value for x in here, would be pi over 8. So this is the starting point pi over 8. Now for the third step here is to determine the period. So period is 2 pi over b and our b here is 2. So we get 2 pi over 2. So that comes out period to be equal to just pi because we can go ahead and cancel these two out. And then we're ready to do the fourth step, which is the end point. End point is the starting point plus the period. So that would be pi over 8 plus pi. Now in here, they, they don't have the same denominator. So I'm going to multiply 8 over 8 to the second one. And so this would come out to be um, 1 pi plus 8 pi is 9 pi over 8. 8 is my end point. Okay, from here, we are now ready to um, sketch the x and y axis. So we're going to start with the y axis over here. So this is the y axis right there. And then um, this is the x right x axis right here. And what are we going to do is we label first the starting point. So the starting point is at pi over 8. So I'll just assume this is 0. So I'm not that's not the starting point anymore. So I'll take this as my starting point. And then this is my end point right here. So I can go ahead and label this um, as pi over 8. That's the starting point. And this is 9 pi over 8. And so I can go ahead and divide this into five more parts. So the one in the middle, I'll take the middle here and I'll take the middle. Okay, so we already did the, that part. And then we go up to five to get the uh, midline. So that would be, um, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And then, so then the midline is going to be on 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be over here. So this is my midline. Okay. And then we go to, to get the, uh, we put the marker on where we're going to stop. So it says that it's 3. So it, from the midline, it can go up 3. 1, 2, 3. So I put a marker over here. That means I cannot go beyond this. And then I go down 3. 1, 2, 3. That means I can't go beyond this. Okay, so then I can go ahead and 
um, determine the values for each of these. So we're going to start with the ones at the, uh, at the middle first. So we're going to determine that value over there. To do that, we are going to um, add these two together and multiply by one half, just like how we did it with the first part. So this would be pi over 8 plus 9 pi over 8 times one half. So this becomes 1 pi plus 9 pi is 10, 10 pi over 8 times 1 half. So that would be pi over, no, 10 pi over 16. And this is divisible by 2. So we can go ahead and say this is 5 pi over 8. Because I reduce it to lowest term. So it's pi, 5 pi over 8. And then I'm going to show the work for the next one as well. So I'm going to put a um, bar here so we don't um, mess it up with the next one. So right here, what I'm going to do to get this value up here is to add these two together. So I'm going to add those two. That's pi over 8 plus 5 pi over 8 times 1 half. So add these two together and multiply by 1 half. So 1 pi plus 5 pi is 6 pi over 8 times one half so that would be six pi over 16 and so six pi over 16 it's divisible by um divisible by two so this becomes three pi over eight and then i'm going to do the same thing for this to do the same thing but this time around we're adding these two so these two are added so that would be five pi over eight plus 9 pi over 8, multiply it by 1 half. So that would be 14 pi over um, 8 times um, 1 half. So that becomes 7 pi over, so this is, so that's 1 half right here. So 14 pi over 16, so 7 pi over 8. So we labeled everything already. Now we are ready to sketch the graph. So the first thing that we're going to do is, since we say this is a negative sign, going back to the ones that we did, it's negative sign is going to look like this. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to uh, show that. Uh, you're going to put that over here. So the dots would start from here. And then it's going to go down this way. It's going to go down this way here. And it's going to go up this way. And it's going to go back this way. And so if we sketch the graph right now, it should go down this way. And then um, go up that way. And then go up this way. Okay, so that's the, that's the graph of this um, function. So what I did was I actually graphed it on Desmos to see... Um, if it's a match on Desmos, what I did is I put in the equation, exactly the same equation right there. And then we have this graph um, up here. So let's see if the parts are a match. So uh, it's at 5. So if I click on this, that's pi over 8. That's the first one. And then if I click on this, that's th this is 3 pi over 8. If I click on the next one, that's 5 pi over 8. If I click the top here, that matches to 7 pi over 8. And then if I click the side right here, that matches to 9 pi over 8. So this is the graph, one cycle graph for this function. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!